Uh, hello everyone, Family Can here, and welcome to the next episode of Nostalgic Month. Um, and we're going to be doing a tier list. Uh, that's going to be on the first Skylanders game. I'm playing for Swap Force. Uh, this is kind of long overdue. Remember, I, I remember a while back I said I was going to do a ranking video of all the Spires Adventure characters, but I realized, yeah, I didn't want to do that, so... This is what you're going to get. So, we have our tier list here. So, for those who don't remember, like, four months ago? Yeah, it was like in July or something. I did all the heroics for every character. That was a hell. That was hell and took over a month. And I gave them all a rating of 1 to 5. So, we're going to do that. And on my phone, for a while, I've had the Skylanders ranked based on my opinion. So, so you see we have 1, it's a 2, we have a 3.5 or a 3 because certain characters have that, a 4. And you notice we have a 5 for both of these. So, looking at back on my notes, uh, 15 characters got a 5 out of 5s. Um, however, most of those, even though they're 5s, I wouldn't say are like a perfect so we're probably going to split, do like 8 and 7. So I just feel like that's how that works. So I also have this set up. Whenever we do that, the uh, delete half the roster list. And this is in backwards order. I actually had to redo the order on this because this was uh, not great. Yeah, we'll just say that. I don't like the way this is set up because normally I like to do magic, earth, Fire attack. We'll do this whenever or we want. How about that? Okay, so we're going to start out. I also have my list here with all the upgrades. So we'll probably just do that. Okay, we're going to start out with Spyro. So basically how I rank them is an S is going to be perfect Skylander. Love the character. Someone I'll always go back to. A is kind of the same thing as this one. But it's like, maybe there's a minor thing I don't like about them. Uh, B is, again, pretty decent. Uh, for their three moves, one of the moves might not be uh, great, but it's at least works in certain situations. I'll explain more about that when I get to it. Uh, a C is basically one of the, it's a decent character, but one of the moves, or one stat, makes them not that great. Uh, and then these two, I'll just say spoilers, there's only going to be three characters in these, uh, bottom tier. We're only, like, one move is usable, and then we all know what's going up. So, we're going to do the magic first, because I feel like that makes the most sense, because it's based on the order. Uh, first off, we got Spyro. He has the flame balls, uh, the charge. Uh, he can fly. Um, I gave my regular and legendary one, uh, this path. And I gave my Dark Spire the horns. So I'm more familiar with the fireball. Um, in my, uh, sometimes, it'll be up sometime this week. In my, uh, Swap Force video, I'm actually, I got Series 3 Spyro upgrade all the way and gave him the Blitz Path and got him the first upgrade, so. Um, Spyro, he's a really good character to get the start of the game. Very popular character. I know people are going to say, Oh, they ruined a Spyro with Skylanders. It's like, pretty sure there were terrible Spyro games before that. So, I'm not going to say he's quite S, but I'm still going to put him in A. He's still a really good character. Not the best magic character, but I still think he's really good. And I definitely recommend playing as him. Of course, he comes with the game. I um, also want to point out that when I did the heroics, with, like, all the bad characters, and then I did, like, third place, because I originally thought Voodoo was gonna be second, and he was gonna be third. Um, yeah, Spyro surprised me with how quick we did all the challenges. And this heroic is not that bad, it's just the paintings. I might discuss heroics as well. Next up on the list, we got a Double Trouble, very underrated character. Uh, his beam is pretty, is really good. I didn't even write notes for every character. I guess I just skipped half of them. Damn, I was lazy for half of these. 
This beam is really good. My only, I guess, minor complaint is when doing the heroics with him, the beam did not go through the freaking uh, crates, so I had to keep spamming his bombs. His double is okay. He can walk on water. Um, the bomb is broken. Does like sixty-five damage, and I of course went with this path. Because it is broken. He actually got runner-up in the tournament. Uh, the better tournament. It only lost to Trobot, so... Yep. Yeah. Urpass kind of at... I'm going to put him in S tier. I think he's... I'm going to put him in S tier. He's actually really freaking good. And underrated. And definitely recommend picking him up as another uh, magic. Next up, we have Wrecking Ball. Yeah, remember when I said I didn't hate him? And... I asked why do people not like him? I think he's okay. Yeah, I lied. His tongue does like so little freaking damage. Uh, his force field ball is very hard to frick control. The fact he had to buy an upgrade to make it more controllable is just really stupid. Yeah. Um, the burp attack does decent damage, I guess. The problem, of course, the charge takes way too long. Darn long and makes you freaking vulnerable. The soul jam is nice, I guess. And the path I want with the bottom half because I think it's more useful. This one you can kind of grab uh, food and stuff, but I think I checked this does maybe like goes from like 12 to like 17 or something, like it does nothing. Yeah, I, I gotta put him, I'm sorry, I gotta put him in freaking D tier. He's not great. Um, his heroic, which is jumping around collecting things, isn't bad. Double Troubles is a freaking pain in the butt, so I just use the anvils and cheat it. I probably won't be talking much about the heroics, I'll just say. Okay, let's talk about them quick. Let's just go on the heroics page real quick so I can just get these out of the way on what's what. Okay. Most of these are easy. They got him up playing that version. Hex is easy. This is a pain in the butt if you're playing what most controls. This one could freaking die in a hole. This is luck based. This is a freaking nightmare. Because I'm pretty sure every character, with the exception of Hex and Cinder, sorry, not Hex and Cinder, uh, Hex, sorry, Ghost Roaster and Cinder had issues with this. I think Flame Slayer was the worst though, because. Every attack left like a uh, fire behind, so I had to freaking stall. Yeah, this was a pain in the butt, but you just need to use anvils and cheat. This was actually not too bad after you know the layout. This one, the bombs are freaking annoying and are terrible to throw. This is exploitable if you have the water character. This is kind of luck based, they give you a lot of time. This one is a a nightmare depending on the character you use, I'll just say that. But Cinder makes it really easy with her uh, Hunter Ally, so. Yeah, next up we have Voodoo, one of the Forgotten 4, Forgotten 8. I think he's pretty decent. Uh, his zip line, because he can go qu quick, it's kind of okay. Uh, the axe is decent most of the time. Uh, the tripwires, like, you're never going to use those, those are really stupid. Uh, most people go with this path. I went with the bottom path because I like the combos. And also because the tripwires don't freaking do much. So I think it's pretty solid. I'm going to put him in B tier. So overall, this the score, I believe, was like a 16. Yeah, 16 on the magic. So next we're going to go to the... Okay, water's next. Uh, next up, we got Slam Bam. I just want to say, if I did my worst lock today, he would not be in it. Because he surprised me the most. I think I was just petty because him and Cinder made it to the finals of the first tournament. And I learned to spam with him, so, yeah. Uh, the Ice Punches are actually really good. Uh, he's actually a really decent brawling character. 7 iron one, which we'll get to later. Uh, the ice is pretty decent. It's okay, but it's not great. Uh, now that you can actually go on the water, 
This makes it a lot better. Um, also, I tested this. You cannot use this on the water stage in battle mode. It does not work. Also, let's learn that the armor is on the top path, and I went with this path, of course. They gave him an Eon's Elite. It's really cool. I think he's pretty slow. I'm going to put him in B tier. I'm going to put him above Voodoo. Right, next up, we have Zap. I think he would probably take place for the worst water character, but... Uh, there is something I wanted to say, and I wanted to apologize for. Uh, in the Rogues video, I was very pissed off about Zap. I remember saying, oh, he's not that great. Why do people like him? Um, near the end, I kind of enjoyed him. I like his lightning breath. It doesn't do a lot of damage. The slime is really good. Uh, being quick. Don't really use a soul gem that much, but it's okay. And the wave attack is also pretty decent. I mean, it's not the worst, uh, 1200 attack. We'll get to that later. And the main issue with me was, I think I chose the wrong path. I chose the bottom path. Which the slimes didn't really do that much. The top half is definitely better. Also, they spelled lightning wrong. Good job. Yeah, I really should have just done the top half. That was my mistake. Um, I still gave him a four. Because I feel like had I gave him the other path, I would have enjoyed him. And I'm not going to be crashed to Sky Islands and be like, uh, Sonic Boom gets a three because... The babies are useless, even though I didn't choose the path that has that. Yeah, give that him and Camo a freaking, like, four. Camo a four, and you give... But you give freaking, what's his name? A lightning rod and stuff a five. You give some smash a five. Zap, I'm gonna put him at the bottom of B tier. Uh, next we have Wham Shell, the most expensive sounder, if you will. Uh, his mace is really good. <clears throat> uh, the starfish are kind of useless, honestly. God damn my throat. And the Poseidon Strike is actually really powerful as well. Um, I went with the top half, because combos and it's the only path to actually use. The bottom half is kind of useless. Uh, it falls into the same category, I think, as Voodoo, where, like, the path, it, the third, uh, the one attack is usable. I don't see myself using it very often. I kind of use it in the heroics mode in certain situations. So, yeah, I think it's pretty decent. I'm going to place him just above Zap, because he and Zap are kind of tied for me. Uh, they gave him a Light Force variation in Swap Force. Unfortunately, it's just the freaking first uh, Series 1, nothing different. Uh, next up, we have Gilgrunt. So, Gilgrunt's a really classic character. He has a harpoon gun, he has the hose. This freaking giant thing that does, like, no damage unless you're playing Swap Force, where it does, like, 100. Uh, the jetpack fly is pretty decent. Uh, I gave him the bottom path because I like that you can never run out of water. I never really got to use the Neptune gun, but... Yeah, like, the harpoons are pretty decent, but I'd say definitely the bottom path for where I would go. My Series 3, I haven't used them yet. I'll probably give the top half. I guess my only complaint was, like, trying to hover with the jetpack, it's goes very it's very awkward at times uh he's gonna be like another character who i'll get to where i think he's decent when i'm not doing heroic mode so i'm gonna put him at, he's gonna be like the bottom of a uh for me personally so yeah the waters are pretty average i'd say yeah so the next um we have is the earth element we have Crash Sound's favorite character, which is Bash. Uh, Bash again falls in the same situation as Gilgrunt. Uh, his tail swipe is decent. His rolling is good as well. Uh, the stone wall is decent. As well, um, he's pretty. 
Um, he does a lot of damage, which I like. I chose the top half for him. I also have a legendary version as the bottom half, and I think when I did the battle with each version, I think we got we are one and one, so they're both both halves are good. Soul Gem gives him plus forty armor, which again is always good. I think the one I don't know what it was, but there was one thing I just was kind of eh on. Like there was something I didn't like, but I couldn't put my finger on how much I didn't like it. On something I did, I don't know. It was just when I was doing the heroics, there was just something I kind of had problems with. It was a similar thing to uh, Gilgrunt. It was just something I was kind of eh on, but again, he's still a good character overall. I uh, next up we have my actual favorite Earth character, who is a. Uh, Dino Rang. Uh, he is very underrated. Um, his boomerangs are very powerful. His stone fists are decent. His sticky boomerangs are, I'd say, better than uh, probably Wrecking Ball. They're also better than another Earth character we'll get to. Uh, the top, even though the bottom half gives you more armor, uh, the top half is really broken with the freaking boomerangs. He also made it to the top four in our tournament. And just freaking obliterate everyone. Yeah, I just have the tournament thing here, so yeah, he Um freaking destroyed prison break. Also pretty much almost killed uh Terrafin, and then he had like ninety six he only had 65 health left playing against uh, Hex in like 96 for playing against Jurobot, so no, and, I'm sorry, he lost to Jurobot who had 96 left, so yeah Diamond Range really broken the fact that he almost won but only lost to one of the most broken characters in the game is really good I'm gonna put him in S tier I, he's definitely gonna go above Double Trouble because Again, Double Trouble's good. His only, like, I guess minor thing is the freaking beam. Next up, we have Controversial Opinion. We have Prison Break. One of the fan favorites, if you will. I think his beam is decent. The only problem is that it can freaking block you at times. Which I don't like. The crystals are... Okay, the drop down I like. And, of course, the... I feel like this is only good... At specific points. Like I feel like it only works if enemies are super close. You do get armor on the top half. This is the path I chose. I probably could have chosen the bottom path. But honestly that would have been a freaking better idea. I do have a series 3. So you never know. We Maybe we'll choose that path. I mean they gave me the option to choose both. So why not. Uh, my complaint about him. He is slow as hell. If you guys remember those like old stack cards they'd give you with the game. Um I know they obviously weren't accurate, but like Igniter had the most powerful elemental power with a hundred, chop chop was defense, stuff up speed, trigger happy is critical. Um he had the lowest stat out of any card, which was his speed, which was ten. Which, yeah, he's, and it clearly shows how freaking slow he is. Um, I gave him a 3 on my thing. I'm gonna put him in C tier. I know this is gonna piss people off because I know people like Prison Break. I personally don't. I think he's okay. He did okay in the worst lock. But again, uh, another controversial opinion. I know people like Terrafin. I'm going to have to put him in the same boat. Actually, I gave him a 3.5. And he disappointed the hell out of me when I did the... Yeah, he disappointed me a lot when I did uh, Heroics. So let me explain. So his punching is decent. His punches are good. I didn't... Uh, okay. Is Remember how I said Slam Bam was a character I used to hate? Because I always said, oh, he's a one-trick pony, and he's not 
great because his punch is the only thing that makes him good. Yeah, that's not true. It's Terrafin who's the one trick pony. 90% of the time, I just use his punches. His Earth Swim is okay, but the Burrow is not great. The Mini Sharks do barely no damage at all. Come on, give me a minute. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, the Mini Sharks are freaking like pointless. They do like 11 damage. And they just shoot in a straight line. That's it. His Soul Gem is kind of pointless as well, because like... You have everything. What's the point of giving him more money? He, you're not going to buy anything with it. I guess later on in the other games, because you have repos, that makes sense. But here, it's like... And also, he's a character from the freaking DLC thing, the Pirate Seas. I didn't talk about this yet, but Slam Bam, I think Empire of Ice is okay. Boss is kind of eh. Not a huge fan of ice physics, but the stage is terrible. Pirate Seas is not great. It kind of, it's okay, but like the matching is just for five year olds, it takes way too long and it's repetitive. And the bow section is also stupid. Like, honestly, you had, because here's the thing like, wave one, like, you had obviously Gilgrunt and Zap, you had Voodoo and Spyro. Like, literally, I know Diamond Room was wave two, and this was. Wave three, but like you had Bash, and like these two were also Wave one. Like looking at the comparison, it's like it's kind of a letdown. Uh, the paths I gave him the Brawler path because that's the only thing that makes it useful. Um, I heard that apparently in Swap Force they made him completely terrible, and his punches are awful. So I'll go with this path. Again, I haven't really used the reposts aside from Stealth of Spyro and recently Whirlwind, who will be in a future video. But yeah, considering what I've been told, yeah, I'm not looking forward to uh, using him. So the Earth Element overall scored a 16.5, which I thought it would score higher. Oh, I'm dead as X. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, next, we have Hex. So, Hex is a character, character that a lot of people don't like. Mostly because the figure is fragile as hell and keeps breaking. Come from experience, that's accurate. However, a lot of people don't seem to realize, like, while she's broken physically because of the figure, um, she is technically broken in the game. Like, in the tournament, she was freaking good. Like, we did a 2 out of 3 match, I think, between her and Cinder. Uh, she ended up winning. Uh, she freaking almost obliterated Shop Shop. And she almost beat Donna Rang. Like, her orb it does decent damage to quick. The skull, it takes a bit of time to charge up once you get the you have to do the upgrade path, and you can just shoot down like 60 damage each time. The bone wall was really good defensive wise. I don't see myself ever using this. I definitely recommend using the bottom path. The bones are a great wall. You can literally just charge these up super quickly. These do like 80 damage or something for each hit. Like, she's freaking broken. Like, you can literally see the shells and still get freaking killed by them. Uh, I didn't even know about her soul gem. That's also really cool. Yeah, I think she's really good, honestly. I'm gonna put her. I'm still gonna put. I'm gonna put her in B A tier, but I think she's good. I'm gonna put her like above here. Next up, we have another character I talked crap on originally. Ah, uh, Cinder. Get she's in the same boat as Hex for me. Honestly, because. Her lightning, you can just hold it down. She buff roll covers large area. The dash, it's kind of like Spyros in a way, but it has ghosts. The Honda ally is very uh, helpful. Well, except for Drobot's freaking quest, but I'm going to be fair. I got 34 out of 35, so I only missed it by one. So in the flying, I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's the first game, there's no jumping. 
so when I originally did the game off camera my first time, I gave her the bottom path, but this time I gave her the lightning path. I'll probably try the bottom path of my series free. And I think the lightning is, is really good. Honestly, and again, she uh, freaking beat Hex in a match. I think... I think they're equal, honestly. I'm going to put them, like, right next to each other. Because I think they're both really good characters. Next up, we have uh, my favorite undead character, Chop Chop. He's a classic. All three of his moves are good. The sword, of course, you can smash it. It's a close attack. It can also heal you, which... For some reason, it was 50-50 in battle mode. Uh, he's one of the very... I think the only character who has a shield. It's really cool. The Bone Bramble. It only does like 17 damage, but it does like 65 in Swap Wars. Because I uh, buffed it. Even with the Soul Gem. Uh, here's a tip. Always go for the top half, unless you're using a Series 2. Because I heard the Series 2 Wild Pal is actually broken with the, with the shield. Yeah, go with the top half. You can easily do a bunch of combos. You get a freaking flaming knife of hell. That does real good damage. Yeah, again, did really good. Did okay in the tournament, but again, I really love using him. He has a series free with a uh, freaking twin blade. Definitely want to check that out at some point. I uh, I will say this. He's second, my second favorite. He is really good. I understand why they gave my Ian's Elite. And the weird thing is, like, the characters they brought back multiple times. Like, Magic was Pop Phase for some reason. Because Spire just got overshadowed. Water Skill Grip, which I understand. Terra Finn, for some reason, got reposes. I don't understand why. And the Undead. Undead's interesting, because it's like they actually put variety, because you had 3 and 3. I know there was apparently supposed to be a Series 4 version of Cinder. It's, that never made it into the game. It had a roll roll for a bit. Like, they decided to actually do variety with the undeads. Um, so Cinder is not the worst undead character. In my pin, it's Ghost Rester. I gave him a 4 originally, but I bumped it down to a 3.5 for one reason. So, the chain is decent. The chain is decent. And the ghosts are okay, and the skull charge is good. The problem is the ectoplasm mode. You hold it, and it makes you immune to all attacks, but you lose health over time. So this is the only character who can basically kill himself in the hub world. And the thing I freaking hate it was I'm pretty sure I could be wrong because I'm stupid. I'm pretty sure 90% of the time you couldn't really even move in the mode. It's basically like if you're playing Smash Bros. or something, you're getting the Invincibility Star, where you can't get hit, and you're just standing there. Like, that's literally what that feels like. Um, and I'm pretty sure I, like, never used that attack. I used it maybe once to test it out for folks, but I'm pretty sure I've never used it. I think it's the one of the worst tertiary attacks in the entire game. And, of course, I was smart and went with the bottom path, because this heals you. I mean, this makes you lose less health, but, like, honestly, just go with the bottom path. There's no reason to do this. Um, I also want to point out that, real quick, I uh, Hex, Whamshell, Zap, Ghost Roaster, Zook, and Lightning Rob were the last six characters I owned. Technically, I had Ghost Roaster originally, but sold him. I I'm going to give him a 3.5. I'm going to put him in C. So I'm going to put him above Terrafin, but yeah. So the Undead is technically, it has an 18.5, so it's tied for the best. I'm pretty sure we know what the best is. Uh, next we got Fire. We have Ignite the Fire's favorite, Igniter. Um, I love Igniter. He was one of the first characters I ever got. Because I got Whirlwind and Flame Slayer, then the Star Pack, and then I got the Camo Igniter Tornado Pack. Let's see, his uh, Flame Bait Blade does really good damage. Uh, this does decent damage as well. You can hit multiple enemies, but it makes you kind of vulnerable. 
The slam does a ton of damage. I like the armor. Um, I know people are going to tell me I'm stupid for this. Um, I chose the top half on this because I like the flame explosions. I know people say to choose the combos with the blades. If it does a lot of damage. Personally, I went with the top half. Because I like the explosions more. Yeah, again, he got a series 2 and stuff. I'll just say real quick. So, 3 in a legendary. Ian's Elite, 2 in a royal. Light core, for some reason, same. 3. I think I actually own every Gilgren, too. Okay, I don't own the regular series 2. I own the chase variant, though. Legendary, yeah, so... Only gave him a series two. Unfortunately, Raptor was the one who got more repos for some reason. I mean, I understand why, but um, so far he is an S tier as well. I really love using him. Next up, we have kind of an underrated character, a Sunburn. Um, his flame breath is freaking broken. You can just hold it down to obliterate everyone. His teleport is prob is pretty decent. I wouldn't say it's amazing, but I think it's so good. I like the Phoenix Dash. Here's the everyone goes with the bottom path, the teleport, which I don't understand why. I went with the top path. Cause you can just hold down that thing. Well, I never really got the Phoenix thing to work, but you can just hold that down and obliterate anyone. Which I really love. Um, a lot of people hate Sunburn, and it's a shame he never got a repose. He's the only character who never did. And it disappoints me a lot, because I really like him. I'm going to play him in S tier. I'm probably going to put him between uh, Cinder and Gilgrunt. Because, again, again, I really love using him. The teleport's going to end, but, again, I really love using him. Yeah, again, you got two good fire characters. Next up, this is where everyone hates me as well. Uh, Flame Slayer. One of the first characters I ever got. His arrows do good damage. I like the Flame Dash. He's the second fastest character aside from Selfo. The thing I don't like, his volley shot kind of sucks. And it's hard to control. I don't like that. Uh, the paths I want with the bottom path. I know people want with this path. This one you can draw a circle. Yeah, let's make a flaming uh, circle of hell. I'd really like that. Again, the freaking uh, heroic though with Drobot was a nightmare. I like that he's quick. I wouldn't say he's the best fire character. I would put him in a B tier. I'm going to put him above Slam Bam. So again, pretty solid. Next, we have another controversial one. Actually, not controversial, because I'm pretty sure we all agree that Eruptor is the worst fire character in this game. I like him as a character. I don't like him as a Skylander. I know he got, like, a repose. A bunch of reposes. I heard a series three is actually pretty decent. I'll have to check that out. And his Wild Power is really good. Here's my thing with him. His blobs are okay. They do decent damage. I have a good distance. The eruption's pretty much the only good attack. Um, he actually was the best fire character in the tournament, which is interesting because I think my brother just spammed eruption. Okay, here's the problem. Magma Ball might be one of the worst uh, tertiary attacks or most expensive. So, worst 1200 dollar attack because... The best way to describe the Magma Balls, they're like green shells in Mario Kart. Because instead of, you know, like a red shell where you can just boom block on the target, you launch one and just kind of bounces around. Like, it literally, I remember when my brother did the reverse mode, he literally, like, never used that, the Magma Ball. He just kept using these two. Um, I went with the Volcano Path, so that's the only, like, good thing about him. This is the one that Crash Sound just said and gave him a 2. Yeah, we give him this path. It's better. Again, I really love this. Volcanoes are good. 
I'm gonna give him a three. I gave him a three because I think he's the bottom thing really slows him down. And he's also kind of slow. I'm gonna put him in the C. Next up, we have okay. This is gonna be interesting. The error on it. Okay, so where when does the character have a life a love hate relationship with this entire time? Because I originally said I hate her because. Oh, she was so weak, and I just want to try to grind her out, stuff like that. Like, I, I talk about more in the collection, maybe you want more info on that. It's interesting, because I was actually using her today when I was using her Series 3 and got all her upgrades, her main upgrades. So the rainbow is pretty good. The Tempest Cloud's also good. I like that you can chain off the rainbows. The flying, again, is kind of eh, honestly. Uh, Chrysalium is actually kind of interesting. You can heal, which is going to come great because I'm doing co-op. And I went with this, uh, this path, the Tempest Clouds, in the first game. She actually did pretty decent. Um, she actually did pretty decent. Actually, she lost the lightning round. What the hell am I talking about? But she was so really fun to play as. Um, Series 3, I gave her this one. Because I, I kind of just want to test out each path. Overall, I think she's definitely my favorite air character. I will say the air characters, unfortunately, are not that are all kind of am. I'm gonna put her in B, but I'm still gonna I'm gonna put her at the top of B. She's definitely. She was also these two were the first characters I ever bought, so she does hold a place in my heart. Uh, thankfully, she's gotten better than what I originally. If you would have told me a year ago to make this list, I probably would have put her in freaking D or F tier, but. Honestly, yeah, I kind of like using her. She's definitely my favorite air character. And I guess we'll go over if I did a favorite lock. Next up, I think we all saw this coming. The only F tier on the list is Warnado. Honestly, like, let me explain this, because I had a comment, someone saying, Oh, you're just bad at Warnado, you're pers purposely letting yourself die. No, here's the thing. The spin is hard to hold to control. It feels awkward. The tornadoes are okay, but they do low damage. I, I like the soul gem. I will say that. My issue is this. Increase your speed while flying, but you're saying unlike most attacks, like uh, the Skullmaster attack, uh, Wrecking Ball's force field ball, uh, the burrow thing for Terrafin. Uh, this makes you vulnerable. You can still get attacked in the frickin' war- in the tornado, which I hate. And it's also really frickin' hard to control. I hate- You see, and you also can't, like, break through any items or anything. Like, can't break through barrels like you can with the other characters. I remember doing- He was the first character to do Heroic Smith. It took me four and a half hours on edit. Which was just hell. And there, I know it was my first time doing it, but Cinder took, like, two hours. Which, yeah. And he also freaking was the first character who died in the lock. Um, I chose this path. It's kind of okay. You slam down the enemies. I have a light cord, which I'll probably never use. I'll probably give him this path, but yeah. Ornado's terrible. Like, honestly, I think I've said everything I don't like about Ornado originally. So I'll just leave it at that. Look at back of the tournament. Okay, the biggest shutout we had was... Oh, Slamming versus Gilgrank. Gilgrank, I'm freaking obliterated it. Yeah, okay, so we have Sonic Boom. She's pretty decent. Yeah, I said she. I got the gender right. Uh, her roar is pretty uh, good. I think the babies are actually very helpful. Most people don't agree with that. Uh, her flying is kind of eh. Again, it's just... It's... It's just flying in the first game. There's no jump, so yeah. My only issue, issue is that the babies are kind of slow. And the other thing I don't like is in the heroics, when there is a teleporter, uh, they just disappear. Which is kind of sad, honestly. So yeah, I'm gonna put her. I'm gonna give her a four as well. And I'm probably gonna put her above. 
slam bam. So again, pretty decent. Uh, next up, Lightning Rod. A lot of people seem to like him. Yeah, I went with this path. If you're wondering, uh, Lightning Rod is good in versus mode. He's just kind of sucks in the actual mode. Like his lightning is decent, I guess. Yeah, because lightning's kind of decent. Uh, the thundercloud, I don't like it because like it just makes you kind of vulnerable. It's kind of like igniter's. Mortar attack, but it's not great. Uh, the zapper feels kind of eh. I mean, you can move while using it, which you can't do for this, so I'll give credit for that. And I gave this him this path because I think the first time I played a game of the bomb path, and he sucked. This path is kind of decent, and the soul gem is kind of okay. So I gave him a 3.5 piece again. Right there. Okay, we got two elements left. We're like, I probably won't put this on premiere because it'll take too long. Maybe I will. Never know. Next, we have the tech element. Uh, Boomer actually surprised me a bit. Um, a lot, actually. Uh, he falls in the same realm as someone like Whamshell, where, like, his second attack doesn't do much. The dynamite cost is really good. Does a lot of damage. You can place six bombs, which is why I chose this path. His soul gem's kind of awkward. I'm not a huge fan of it. And the slam is kind of useless. Uh, the other thing is he has the second least amount of health in the game with 460. I didn't bring this up. He never has 480, but you can at least get away with that. That's probably my, one of my only complaints. His slam is okay, and the health is a major issue. Uh, he's a B tier as well. Next up, we have uh, Drill Sergeant. I, another character. Yeah, he's going to be the, the last character in the D or F tier. Uh, his voice is extremely annoying. His speed is okay. It's decent. The rockets are fine. Uh, the charge is also going to end. Uh, his tertiary attack does literally no damage. It does make one to two damage for each hit, which is a freaking scam. Even with the bottom path, like I'll just say, this is probably the only character where I, I test both paths and I hated both of them, but I want the bottom because it was the least uh, terrible. Yeah, again, wasn't a huge fan of him. I gave him a 2.5 virtually, he gets a 2. Next up, we have probably my favorite character, Easy S tier. Robot broken as hell. These afterburners are kind of eh, honestly, but you don't really need that. You can just hold down the freaking primary attack, obliterate anything. Uh, ch you choose this path again, obliterate everything. The blade gears are also pretty decent. I know most people don't really use them. They're they're really decent to use. Um, I know. I forget what his name was. Scouter TV or whatever his name was. I uh, he tried to do a challenge where he beat the entire to beat the entire game with your robot. He lost at the final boss, but he basically the fact you can basically just beat the almost beat the game yourself with freaking Drobot is just amazing. That's how broken he is. Next up we have Trigger Happy. An air classic. Uh his guns are really good. Uh, the safe is also decent as long distance. Uh, you can, this is a real good attack. You can mash uh, like those robots. You can just hold down, which is freaking broken. I like the unlimited ammo. The machine gun's decent. So the top, the regular one I gave this path, and the legendary I gave the bottom path. I think the legendary one might be a little better. Again, that's just me, because I'm not a huge fan of charge attacks. Uh, I'm going to put him right next to Spyro. I think he's really good. Uh, his only complaint is, my only complaint, his health is abysmal. It's freaking 400, which is the lowest of any character in the game. Uh, the other games, unfortunately, has the same issue, too. I think at level 20, he has, like, 600 health. That's it. 
where everyone else is like a couple thousand. It sucks, so yeah. Next we get to my favorite element. Uh, first we have Camo. I really like Camo. Uh, his sunburst is really good. It's another mashing attack. Uh, the vines are do decent damage. His soul jump is actually pretty decent when you can pull it off. I wasn't really able to do it in the versus mode, but I was able to do it. Um, I was able to do it a couple times in heroics. Uh, I do like the melon attack. Um, I do have a series two, the one in swap for, so I want to use that at some point with the pumpkins. Um, I know everyone says to choose this path. I actually chose the melon path, even though it's kind of probably doesn't work on the Wii. Um, it's still really decent. I love using camo. One of the first life characters I ever got. I'm going to show this image again because I still freaking want this thing, even though it's like ten million dollars. That is not what I meant. Like, look at this. Again, I would like to get this if it wasn't freaking eight hundred fifty dollars. Actually, that is actually a good question. How much does the stamp thing cost? Yeah, again, it's like nine hundred freaking dollars. That's the only one I can actually find. Yeah, thanks, Internet, for not releasing this outside the freaking Europe. He's going S tier easily. He's going to go above Igniter. I'd say he's fourth place, probably. Next up, kind of a controversial one, we have Stump Smash. I think he's decent. He has the most amount of health out of anyone in the game with 680. His hammers are decent, but they're kind of slow. Uh, the acorns do decent damage. Uh, the Mega Knight, I think it's kind of okay. You push it down. Like, you push it around. It's it's supposed to do decent damage, but not really. His soul gem is, you can't really attack in the water, which makes him kind of eh. It's also very odd. Um, I went with this path, because I feel like this is the better path, in my opinion. I know people go with the smash path. I went with the bottom path. Again, I think he's okay. I'm going to put him again in the C tier. He got a 3.5. So this can be kind of hard to see. So these four have threes, point fives. Eruptor and uh, Prison Break have threes. The other ones have 3.5s. Next, we get to Zook. So each character kind of has. A character that everyone doesn't like, you know. Most of these are kind of accurate for their element. These. Air is. Like, undead is usually Hex. Which, again, I don't understand. Uh, and then the least fair water is Wham Shell. Uh, the least fair life is actually Zook. Which I never understood. Um, I used him in Versus. Uh, he was really good in Versus Mo. Made it to the freaking semifinals. Only to lose to Double Trouble. Uh, his bazooka gives good damage. I like the barricade. I like the mortar attack. And I think the reason people don't like him is they choose the wrong path. Because everyone gives him the top path. The bottom path is what you want. But I attacked it. This uh, barrier, you put that up. People can run into it. They just get freaking shred it. And again, he was another character who really surprised me when I used him in uh, Heroics. I never realized how broken he was. Uh, he's definitely getting a 5. Easy. I'm going to put him behind Dino Rank. So, yeah. Wait, did I put him below? What the hell? Okay, apparently in my stats, I put Double Trouble. He's better than Double Trouble. I don't care. He's better than Double Trouble. Yeah, we'll go with that. And then finally, we have my one of my favorites. I'm going to put her... She's third place. Stealth Elf is one of the best characters in the game. She is broken as hell. She's speedy. She can heal herself. The Scarecrow is kind of add, but you don't really need that. 
She can just frickin' destroy people. I'm disappointed she lost in the first round of the tournament, but I mean, she was against Zook, who was, again, a worthy competitor. You have two broken characters against each other, of course, you're gonna have someone lose. I like her acrobatic thing. I use that a lot for my speed run in the first game. I actually upgraded her uh, top half in the uh, swap force for series three. Of course, you want to go with this path. It's really broken because you can just destroy anything in your path. I think when I did the uh, final level in the first game, I speed ran with her and she just obliterated uh, the freaking enemies on the split path when normally I would just cheat and use anvils. Also, she was definitely my most played Skylander. I think I checked originally because on the Wii U gamepad it says how long you play with a character. I think I played with her, it said 58 hours, which is the most I've ever spent with any character. Because I think in the newer games, it's like an hour, hour and a half. But like, stuff off, I freaking use her a lot. And she's definitely my favorite character. I think Jurobot and Chop Chop are a team but better, but again, 100% love using her. Unfortunately, they freaking ruined her and uh, supercharged, but that's top score in her day, so yeah. So, if I were to do a favorite lock, it would be basically this. What well, you get rid of Camel and Zook. It would be uh, Drobot, Chop Chop, Stealth of Igniter, Diner, and Double Trouble. And then Gilgram, probably. And then Whirlwind. That would be my uh, uh, best lock. And then the worst lock, you have basically this entire row except for Terrafin. And then maybe zap. So again, that is the list. This took a while, but yeah. If you're wondering the final scores, I guess uh, Era was last with a twelve point five. Tech and Magic had sixteen. Fire had a seventeen. Sorry, Earth had a sixteen point five. Water and Fire had seventeens. And then Undead in Life had. 18.5 jump yeah this is next this was pretty fun to do i might do swap force at some point but again the applies everyone um i will definitely be doing this at some point i probably won't do every character uh i'm going to do okay i'll probably do spires adventure and swap force and maybe trap team the other stuff I'll have to wait on unless people want me to do. I might do this live, I'm not sure. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this episode of Nostalgic Month. Tomorrow should be an episode of Skylanders. Yes, it is, okay. Tomorrow's gonna be an episode of Skylanders, the first half of chapter twelve. Uh spoilers, we I have to replay it because we actually got everything in the level, but one of my characters freaking died. And the boss fight, we had a BS moment. I'll just say that. So yeah, see you guys for the next video. Where y'all?